guys. Um, today I'm going to talk about my grandmother. Uh, we called her Mamma. She was my daddy's mother, and her name was Hetty. And she lived in Columbia, Mississippi. And um, she, by the time I was, I guess, four or five years old, she was a, a widow um, because my granddaddy, Romy Hargrove, had died from a stroke. Uh, but anyway, I went up there to, went to Columbia to spend some time with her during the summer. I guess I was there probably three or four days. And um, I loved being up there with Mamma. She had real long hair, and she would sit there and let me braid it for her. And uh, she was short, and she just, I don't know if she was part Indian or not, but she sure looked like a little Indian squaw. And I loved her, and uh she loved Coca-Cola. She had her one of those little, I guess it was about a six ounce bottle. It was one of those glass bottles that they used to come in back in the 50s. And uh, she allowed herself half of it in the morning and then the other half in the afternoon. But she was addicted to Coca-Cola. She had to have her Coca-Cola every day. When I was up there, she um had a, chicken yard where she kept her chickens and everything and so when it came time for her to cook dinner she went out there in the chicken yard and grabbed a chicken and just took it and just wrung its neck like that and um I don't remember how she feathered it or anything but we had it for dinner that night she fried it and we had it for dinner um also she was a member of the church of God and uh, that church was right across the road from her house. And, uh, she, of course, she made me go with her. And uh, I was just shocked. I had never been inside of a church like that. So we went in there, and all the, the women and men, they would hold their arms up and praise the Lord and, and then talk in tongues. And uh, I thought they were making it all up. I don't know if they really were speaking in a foreign language or not, but to me it just seemed really weird and odd. Also, Mama loved to make quilts, and she had this big quilting frame, and uh, she had these hooks on her ceiling, and she had some way of uh, drawing, you know, pulling that quilting frame up and keeping it up on the ceiling of her living room. And then when she wanted to quilt, she would lower it, and then she would sit there in a chair and just quilt it, you know, by hand, all of those little stitches. And um, she gave me a, a couple of those quilts, and that's what we used uh, to stay warm in the winter. And I remember she used to make me dresses, and she had this old, um, the old pedal sewing machine with the, the pedal on the bottom. And uh, I remember the quilts that she made would be scraps of my dresses. And, uh, oh, I wish I had saved one of those quilts, but I didn't. And then um, at night, she kept a slop jar underneath her bed. And her bathroom was just right across the living room from her bedroom, but she wouldn't get up and go to her bathroom at night. She had to squat over that little, um, I think it was brass, a little brass slop jar and, and pee in it. But anyway, that's one of my little trips to visit my grandma during the summer, back in the 1950s. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.